Good morning, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I am sweaty. I just went grocery shopping in a hoodie and tell me why it's the middle of winter and it's muggy today. Like I'm so confused. The bag is all wet because it is pouring rain today. I got some chocolate. This chocolate from Aldi is so good. It tastes just like the Whitaker's coconut rough. So good. Some coke, no sugar. The whole reason I went is for milk because I have no milk for my coffee and that's just not going to do is it. I got an Asian salad kit, some bananas, some strawberries. Isn't this such a throwback? This is is the Greek style plain high in natural protein yogurt from Aldi. This is so good. One serve has 17.5 grams of protein and I mix protein powder with it. One, to have more protein. Two, so that it tastes way better. And I'm going to top it with strawberries and banana. Like the good old days. We love to see it. And then I also got some chicken breast as well to go along with the salad mix. And that's my haul. I'm going to make... Oh the kettle's on. I'm gonna make a Naked Harvest clarity coffee in vanilla. I think I'm just kind of sick of my pods at the moment and this is me trying to convince myself to not go to Starbucks and get a coffee. This packet smells like McDonald's maple syrup. I don't think this is how you're actually meant to make it but I'm just gonna cover it in boiling water. Please stop beeping and then froth it. And then I'm gonna use the milk frother on my coffee machine to make my milk hot. Kind okay. of fun. Well, that's not coming up. What does it mean when <laughs> the things that come up when you Google that is so funny? The milk light doesn't come on my espresso. I would just like everyone to know that I'm an actual idiot and <laughs> the light wasn't coming on because I didn't put the milk in the thing and it doesn't come on until the milk is in there. Moving along, I can't with myself. <laughs> Acting like we've had a huge day. <laughs> Cheers. I oh, bought wow. a Stanley. Look at the color no. difference. Wow, it's really pink ne next to yours. Yeah, I really love it. Me too. Like that would be my next option. I put it off for so long. Yeah, it's, it's an expensive cup. <laughs> it is an expensive cup. And I feel like you guys use yours so much. 1.18 liters. Yeah, I literally use it every day. When do you use this and when do you use your water bottle? I tend to use my water bottle if I need to put it in a bag. So never. <laughs> So, never. And then sometimes I bring a bag and then I just carry this because I want it. It's really, I think if you work from home, you need it. Which I don't. At the office, you just. Mm. And it's the great height. It sits on your bench and it's right at your mouth. Mm. I love that. You know what I mean? And do, do you find it keeps it cool, cold for long? Ice yeah. cubes? Yeah. We're about to go to the gym. Mm. We're in the car park of the gym. We're procrastinating going in. I need like caffeine. What are we doing? We're doing legs. No, it's going to be good. It doesn't look too busy. No, I'm excited. Nothing too heavy. Nothing too crazy. Just get in, get the blood flowing through our legs and then get out. You know what I mean? Maybe we should write a little plan. Yeah. Oh, my tummy feels a bit interesting. I had a coffee on an empty stomach today and I, I should have known. Every time oh, I'm like... why? I just get anxious. I have coffee and no food. Really? And every time I'm like, oh, it'll be fine. It's never fine. That's so interesting. I only ever have coffee on an empty stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jealous because I feel like it's such a nice way to like start your day. Yeah. But breakfast. I woke up late and then I had my cold shower and then oh. I was quickly got ready and then I was at yours and I was just like, coffee. You know? So it's my fault. No. <laughs> it's my fault for sleeping in so much. You didn't have a little sleep in this morning. And I've just been on my phone a lot. See, my... <laughs> My issue with the cold shower is the cold shower. You. Yes, the cold shower is hard enough. Getting out of bed knowing I have to have a cold shower first up is even harder. So I wake up and I'm on my phone for an hour and a half. And I'm like, you're literally ruining Do your you know day. what I think you need to do? Put your phone on charge in the bathroom. I know. I hate it. I also need my brown noise to fall asleep. Your alarm goes off. You have to get up and you're already at the shower. The hard thing is done and then you just do one more hard thing. And then the gym. <laughs> <laughs> he just sounds so hard. We're gonna see if the front desk of the gym has energy some drink. kind of energy drink. I'd love one of those amino energy, you know, the um, the yellow one. The cans? Yeah. I'll take any flat. <laughs> the grape is my favorite. Yeah, the grape is good. Raptor. <laughs> What are we doing at the gym? Okay. Yeah, what are your favorite leg exercises? Well, I want to do that leg press, mm. single leg press thing. We should start with a compound. Sumo squats. And then maybe just a glute. Oh, what about the... 
flying <laughs> hamstring. So you knew what I was talking about. Yeah. 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 Okay, what if we do that and the, the seated leg extension? As a superset? Yeah. Get in, get it done. You know what I mean? I'm. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The bold is really throwing me. <laughs> <I say. laughs> that is so I don't know why it's done that. I hate it. And then some calves. Like, what do you do for that? Calf races. With, like, just on the... There's machines. Really? Have you never done a calf race machine? No. You're going to hate it. Write it down. <laughs> My eye won't stop twitching. What is that from? Is it from the coffee? No, apparently... I don't know where I heard this. So it could be a complete lie. But apparently it twitches when you're run down. Which I'm like, interesting. Like, I'm not run down. No, but you could be, like, catching a flu or something. Oh, we well. can't be sick. We've got too much on. There's too much happening. Is that everything? Screenshot for your own workout. We wrote this ourselves. <laughs> we are professionals. Listen to everything we say and watch our technique for exactly how to do it. Especially me. Imagine if we said that. Oh, my tummy feels a bit. Apple bagels. How are they so good? Eggs on bagels tomorrow morning. <sighs> now we're going to get in get it done. Should we warm up on the Stairmaster? We're really cooking our legs. Just for five minutes. Into to a gym montage. Grande ice latte. Anything else? That's all, thank you. That's all, drive through, thank you. Thank you. I'm doing a morning Starbucks run. That energy drink that Lang and I had at the gym yesterday did not do me any favors at all. I was awake till 12.30. I tried to fall asleep for an hour and then my brown noise turned off. So I scrolled on my phone, which was my own fault. And then by the time I fell asleep, I just woke up this morning feeling like I am not well rested. I also planned to have a sunrise beach swim this morning and that was just not happening with that amount of sleep. So today has not gone to plan so far, but I'm on my way to Lang's house. Rachel's there at the moment. I'm going to pick them both up. And then we're going to get bracelets put on, like permanent bracelets, which is so fun. I've always been really insecure about the hair on my arm. So I only started wearing bracelets this year. I've gone from a jewelry that I normally wear on this wrist, but I've taken it off. I'm gonna get a bracelet on this wrist and then I'll put my majority one on this wrist. And I feel like that'll be really fun. Getting myself out of my comfort zone because my hair on my arms literally means nothing. And it's society that's deemed that as ugly. Do you know what I mean? Like I can't just sit around agreeing with society all day, every day. But I'm excited. I also used one of my bagels this morning. I had eggs on my bagel and it was so good. If you live on the Gold Coast and you haven't been to O Bagel yet, do yourself a favor. And thank me later. I need to get my Starbucks app. Also, if you go to Starbucks often and you don't use the app, would highly recommend. I think every drink you buy, you get a star. Once you hit nine stars, you get a free coffee. And I feel like it adds up quickly. Like, we really love to see it. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you so much. You too. Oh my gosh, I think that was my birthday coffee that I've just used by accident a week and a half before my birthday. Oh well. Let's do a little taste test. Oh, yum. She's a good one. I've somehow dragged myself to the gym. Second day in a row. Yeah, it's giving. Disciplined, it's giving. Fitness queen, it's giving. I'm back in my gym era. No, I'm kidding. I'm trying so hard to start disciplining myself a bit more. I've been caught out. If you watched last week's vlog, I kind of touched on it a little bit then, starting my whole cold shower thing at the moment, but I just feel like I have been giving myself the worst and biggest excuses for almost two years now. And it's finally gotten to the point where I am so sick of my own shit that I need to just get out of my own way and start making better choices for myself. I don't know if this is a thing that other people feel, but I feel like I just got in the rhythm and like consistency of making excuses for myself and just letting them slide. And the more I would let them slide, the easier it was to convince myself to not do anything. I have really, honestly, for the last at least year, not been looking after myself at all. Last year was a huge year of growth, like emotionally wise, like really healing and processing a lot of things in my heart, you know, like leaving the church and my religion 
religion and my sexuality that was a whole thing and in doing that I felt like I couldn't give my all to that while also giving my all to look after my physical body and now that I feel like mentally I'm doing pretty good there is definitely things that need some work that I will be working on but for the most part I'm pretty good in the mental headspace category my physical health completely down the drain and it just took so long of me consistently making decisions that don't like benefit me in the long run for me to be like okay I'm ready to actually work hard and look after myself so that's the the era I'm entering right now I'm getting a gym program very soon I'm gonna join train with Soph which is super exciting I have followed Soph Allen online for so long I'm obsessed with the way she trains I'm obsessed with how science-based her information is while also making sure that like your program and your eating all aligns with you physically and emotionally so I'm gonna be doing that program which I'm really really excited about I'm also gonna have like weekly check-ins on that app so that I have a little bit of accountability because if I was just going in with a program and no one was keeping me accountable I don't think I would actually get absolutely anywhere I'm contemplating tracking my food again which I know is a really really controversial topic I just want to make sure that now that I'm going back to the gym regularly and consistently I need to be hitting my protein and I'd also just like love to see what I'm eating I have a very big history with tracking and so I know that it can be used as such a great tool but can also just be kind of like dangerous I guess dangerous sounds like such a hectic word but you just have to use it with caution I feel so I'm gonna see start tracking again see how I feel if I'm not enjoying it or if I feel like I'm going back to my old mental state but then I'll just stop it completely but I just want to give it a go and not like rule it out completely so that's kind of where I'm at health and fitness wise while I'm waiting for my program though I've convinced myself to just start going to the gym and get into the habit of it I did get my period the start of this week so it's been a little bit of a delay but I went yesterday I'm going today I'm going back to my hometown over the weekend and I'll be training with my old gym partner who I miss so dearly I'll be training with Grace so that'll be really good and then hopefully by next week I'll have my program and we'll be on the go even just my mental space I don't know what it is but something really just clicked in my head mentally and all of a sudden I'm like ready to look after myself and ready to put myself first prioritize myself and get back to how good I felt going to the gym so regularly like I really found like I don't want to say like a passion but it kind of felt like a hobby for me because I was always so excited to go I loved feeling strong and seeing what weight I was capable of lifting and I loved it so much and I really lost the love for it due to just past experiences with coaches and stuff so I'm excited to to get back to it on my own terms after learning everything that I have throughout the year so I'm excited I'm ready I'm being so dramatic and I'm just talking about it like it's a whole new era but it is and I'm excited so that's my little like fitness update I guess I'm the heaviest I've ever been but more importantly I feel maybe the shittest I've ever felt health wise I feel lethargic I feel heavy I feel gross because I am not giving my body any nutrients at all so over the last few weeks I've made my goal eating wise to be eating at home as much as I can because it is so common for me to just get takeout all day every day and it was rare that I was eating food at home and if I was eating food at home it was Uber Eats so taking it little baby steps at a time I've been cooking myself more meals at home I've only been really eating out when I'm out with friends or family and obviously not feeling guilty about that at all and I'm already starting to just feel better just from cooking my meals at home so that's a great step in the right direction I want to start adding some more veggies into those meals that I'm cooking at home I want to be making sure I'm eating lots of protein for all of my muscles and then we'll see how we go once I get the program and I'm really into it and making better decisions wow my camera's really just been recording for eight minutes I'm gonna go it is 4 20 p.m so like peak gym time i feel everyone's just finished work oh my gosh also this is my bracelet how cute is it i'm actually obsessed obviously i was about to say it fits my wrist so well you'd hope so it's permanent i love it so much it's so dainty and it has these little like squares on it that look sparkly when you're moving and you look at it far away and i love it so much isn't it crazy that's just like stuck on my body and i can't get it off without cutting it off we went to a place on gold code called <laughs> am i okay on the gold coast called rebellious grace i believe they have a store in fortitude valley in brisbane and on the gold coast the service everything about it was just so stunning i really loved it look at my cute hairy arms with my cute bracelet yeah i know <laughs> okay i need to shut up and go to the gym oh i need my hair to tie it's right here You only knew I scared I was to tell you Oh, what a fucking relief
Good morning. The last clip I filmed was in my car before I'm about to go into the gym and now I'm back in my car about to go into the gym. But it's been quite a few days and I haven't picked up my camera at all because I've just been here, there and everywhere hanging out with so many of my beautiful, beautiful friends and I just, I feel like I'm in a big love bubble right now. I'm just so incredibly grateful for every single person in my life and I just am so happy. I'm so happy I got to spend the weekend celebrating my beautiful friend Kate's birthday, my older brother Bryce's birthday, caught up with some more friends yesterday and my heart is just feeling so full. About to see one of my other besties this morning. Grace and I are about to go and do a session together. Grace is hands down my favorite person to train with ever. One of my biggest regrets about moving away is the fact that I don't get to see her every day. <laughs> we don't get to go to the gym every day. So I really make the most of it when I'm back in my hometown. So we're gonna go in and train legs. I'm scared. I'm scared. After my leg session last week, I was sore for a good three or four days. Tell me you haven't been consistent without actually telling me. We're gonna train legs and then we're gonna go get some Subway for lunch. And then we're both going and getting our hair done. I'm bringing Grace to my hairdresser for the first time. We're both getting our hair done. I'm just getting a touch up. I get the same thing every time. It's nothing new. But Grace is blonde and she's going a bit darker because my sole purpose on this earth is convincing all my friends to go brunette. And I'm so incredibly excited. She's not going like brunette brunette. She's going like Margot Robbie blonde brunette. Dirty blonde. Also so excited to see my hairdresser. Like she's just the best. Also, I don't have time to talk to you about it now because Grace is about to be here. But in the time that I haven't vlogged over the last few days, Speak Now Taylor's version has graced us with her presence. And I am not well. I'm not well. When I tell you the vault song, I Can See You, does something to me, I'm not exaggerating. I feel something in my soul for that song. It's definitely a little fruity. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I feel like it's dress, false god, questions, all little sister. It's a banger and I've had it on repeat. I have had it on repeat. Also, tell me why I've only just rediscovered Cat Burns. I feel like when I was coming to terms with my sexuality, I listened to her song called Free, which is what I was just listening to before, on repeat all the time. She released a song also, I think it was this year, yeah, called Live More and Love More. Oh my god, why does it make me literally want to sob my eyes out? It's so good. So, Live More, Love More, I Can See You, and Free have just been on repeat all weekend driving from friend to friend to friend and maybe that's why my heart is so full as well I just just feel so loved and grateful and I just feel so happy and great <laughs> anyway Grace just got here so we're gonna go train <laughs> I didn't actually end up filming anything else for this vlog and it's now the next week and I've just finished editing it. So I just wanted to pop in and say hi, thanks for watching. This is my fresh hair. It looks the same as it always does and I love it. I got some face framing pieces. I've had face framing before and I loved it but I got like quite sick of it very quickly. But I feel like because my hair is so long, I need something to break it up because otherwise it just looks like a long mop. So I'm loving the face framing. It's been two days so <laughs> we'll see how long it takes me to get sick of it. Also now that I finished editing this vlog, I really just sat in my car and talked to you for the whole entire vlog so didn't do that on purpose but i hope it wasn't too boring i'm feeling really good in life at the moment everything just feels so fun and exciting and i feel so grateful that i get to bring you along for every aspect of my life good or bad it just feels like i have so many friends coming alongside me and hanging out and i'm so grateful so so grateful but thank you for watching and i will see you in my vlog next week a little birthday vlog got some fun exciting things happening some friends coming to town i'm very excited so i'll see you then bye